Hey guys, it's Alexandra Rose. Thank you for tuning back into So It Flows. Um, today we're gonna, going to do a 30 minute um, vinyasa flow, moving somewhat breath to movement just to kind of calm the central nervous system. We're about two weeks away from the holiday season and I'm already starting to feel the chaos of it all. So my intention for this practice is for you to find 30 minutes to yourself where you can come to your mat or a place in your home and come to a place of relaxation and in the present moment. We are going to start in a seated position, just one ankle in front of the other. This is called Sukhasana. And I even like to take some time to find the six bones, taking some circles into the hips. I do have a little bit of music playing and I did link a playlist below, but if you feel called to put on some tunes that you vibe with or anything that feels good to you, feel free to put that on now or press play on that playlist. We're going to find a neutral spine, feeling rooted in the pelvic floor. You might even experience or feel like a bowl here, softening the belly. And we're just going to rest the hands on top of the knees, palms facing down, so we can find a little bit of grounding in our practice. We're going to take a deep breath from that bowl, inhaling all the way up the spine, letting the breath lengthen the top of the head, and then exhale down the back body and just breathe here. See if you can take the next few breaths to visualize warm honey as it drips from the crown of the head down the forehead, the cheeks, the throat, the shoulders, the ribs, and puddling down into that pelvic floor, letting everything soften here. I like to imagine that you can inhale up the front of the body, creating space in the belly, in the heart, in the head, and exhale down the back body, let everything relax. We're going to draw the chin into the chest and roll the right ear over to the right shoulder. Drop this left shoulder down, maybe take a couple passes here. And we'll draw the chin in towards the chest, left ear, left shoulder. Drop that right shoulder blade down the back. Breathe here into the scalenes of the right side of the neck. Especially when we're feeling tense. Holidays can bring a lot of tension with a lot to do on the to-do list. Everything tends to come up towards the ears. This is where we hold anxiety. So throughout today's practice, I'd like you to think about lengthening from the ear all the way down the deltoid, down the back. We'll draw the chin into the chest. Inhale, lengthen the head up towards the sky. We're going to reach the hands overhead, taking one breath, one movement here. On the exhale, press the hands together and bring them down towards heart center. Take this two more times, starting to move into that pelvic floor. So imagining as a bowl rolling forward on the inhale. And exhale, draw the belly in, slightly tilting, maybe even the whole back as you drop the chin. One more time, inhale, reaching out, reaching up, take up space. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Take a moment here to maybe set an intention for this next 30 minutes. Maybe your intention is just to be here now, to be in the present moment. Your intention can be towards giving, towards others. My collective intention for you all is during this chaos is just to become present where all of life exists. So take a moment here, deep breath in. Exhale, 
maybe saying to yourself, I am here. We're going to scoop the hands up overhead, reach them high. Right hand is going to come to the right side of the mat, press into that right elbow and lift that left hand overhead. We're going to use the breath to shift the heart up towards the ceiling. Taking breaths all along this left side body. You might even start to feel some heat coming into the body as the muscles open up. We can take some passes in the neck. On the inhale, we're gonna reach that left hand up. Left hand comes down, right hand overhead. See if you can move the right wrist away from the right hip, rotating the heart up towards the sky. You can roll out the wrists. You can take some passes in the chin. Inhale, reaching up. Both hands are going to slide right by the hips. Fingertips facing forward. I'll show you this from the side. We're going to roll the shoulder blades back, opening up the heart here. Again, we want to create as much space in the heart as possible. You can stay here or you can start to lift the shins off the mat, breathing from the hips all the way to the crown of the head. This is a deep front body opening, so just be easy on yourself. Take your time. On your exhale, bring the hips down, rolling over the tops of the fingers, and draw the head down towards the mat, opening up the spine here. We're going to take five deep breaths in this forward fold, starting to lengthen the back of the spine. I like to take some sways here. Releasing all of that tension in the shoulders. Start to release the tension in the head and the face in the jaw. When we come to the present moment, we'll release everything that brings us tension into the heart. We create more space for love, for giving, for gratitude. We'll plant the hands into the mat and roll on top of the knees, coming into a tabletop position. We'll take it active here by tucking the back of the toes, opening up the arches. Take some circles here in the hips and the shoulders. Allowing your intuitive body to move you where it needs to go. So maybe you're still here. Maybe you take some cat and cows, maybe you all over the place. Wherever you are is exactly where you're supposed to be as long as we're following that breath. Our breath knows exactly where to go, where to release. We'll meet in a neutral spine, tucking that lower belly in. With the lower belly in, we'll start to build more heat in the body. And especially during the December months, even though it's pretty warm in Florida, we want to build that heat. We want to get some synovial fluid, some warm liquid throughout the body. We'll untuck the toes and spread them wide on the mat, taking three rounds of cat and cow. Drop the belly and lift the heart here, rolling the shoulder blades down the back. As you do this, I want you to externally rotate those shoulders, spiraling the eyes and the elbows forward. Take a full round of breath here, breathing from the pelvic floor all the way into the collarbones. Exhale as you press that lower belly in and drop the head around the shoulder blades here. Maybe shake the head no, opening up the cervical spine. On your next inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. We'll take one breath per movement. Exhale as we tuck the belly in, round the back, drop the head. Inhale as we drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, coming through that cow position. We'll tuck the belly in here. Right foot's going to press back on our mat, opening up that calf muscle. We want a long line from the right heel up to the crown of the head. So see if you're looking up. Let's see if you can draw that chin in, creating a long back of the spine. We're going to lift the heel here. Again, engaging that core. If you need a little more space in the wrist, you can come to the fingertips. We're going to inhale, open up the collarbones here, just rotate those shoulders back. 
On the exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Forehead comes towards the knee. Round the spine or the groin cap. Inhale, flex that foot, press it back, opening up the collarbones, the chest. Exhale, knee comes into the chest, roll it in. Inhale, reaching away. This last time, we'll bring the knee into the chest. Again, you can tip those fingers, bringing the right foot in between the hands. We're going to allow the hips to start to settle here to relax. Externally rotating those hips when you're ready. Maybe the hands can reach up overhead. For a low lunge, relax the heart space here. Everything that's pressing into the mat, really root it down. So press the toes behind you. Press down into the knee. Press down into the toes. Reach high in the heart. If you like a little more, maybe find opposite elbows here. And we'll find cactus arms. Exhale. We'll move with our breath. Inhale as we reach up. Exhale as we take those cactus arms. Opening up that left psoas muscle, the front of that left hip. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, last time. If it's too deep into this groin, you can always press back. Inhale, find one more breath. And plant the hands, framing that right foot. We're going to tuck the back toes here, extend through the heel. Left hand plants, right hand is going to reach up into a twist. Relax that right shoulder down the back, see if you can drop that right hip back. We'll take a flow here, exhale as the hands come down, hugging in that right thigh, drop the head. Inhale as you press the heel away and rotate back up, opening the heart. So I'm building a lot of heat here. Exhale, hug it in. Give your body permission to build heat. We want that heat here so we can open a little deeper into the body. One more time. Exhale, bring it all the way in. Inhale, reach up. And swing that right hand back down, frame that left foot or that right foot. Right, sir, left knee, that back knee comes down, and you reach that right foot all the way back. We're going to take a bend in the elbows here, taking a cat bow, little chaturanga variation, tapping that chin, inhale, pressing back up, exhale, knee to nose. We'll take that one more time, inhale as we expand, exhale, soften those elbows as elbows raise those ribs, inhale as we press away. Exhale as we find a new nose. We'll extend that right foot and we're going to rock it over to the outside, so towards that left side of the mat and just look back at that left foot, walking the right fingertips to the left corner of the mat. This is a deep opening of the right rib. Opening up here. Right hand comes down, right heel lifts. Come back to that tabletop position. Coming to some cat and cows. Inhale as we roll up to attack. Exhale as we come through cow. So now I'm reversing the way I move the breath. Inhaling in between the shoulder blades. Exhaling as we move the belly down with the heart. We'll take one more round or take whatever movement feels best for you here. Drop the belly with the heart. And pull that belly in for a neutral spine. This time the left toes are going to come back behind us. Press into that calf muscle here. Again, we want one long line from your heel all the way to the crown of the head. Breathe here. Exhale, relax. Inhale from your heel all the way to the crown of the head. Deep breath in. Exhale, relax those shoulder blades down. We're gonna lift from that heel. I like to flex the toes down towards the mat to keep that left hip engaged and rolling down as well. So it's in alignment with that right hip. We're going to inhale, lift the heel, lift the chest. Exhale as the knee comes in towards the nose, around the spine. Inhale, press away. Exhale, knee to nose. Again, if you need more space, come to the fingertips or find some blocks. Inhale, expand. 
Last time, need a nose. Inhale, reach open. And we're gonna send that left foot in between the hands. So open up the shoulder blades, create some space here, left foot plants. Sink the hips down as far as feels good for you. This is the psoas muscle. We wanna open that deeply here. Take a few breaths. When you're ready, ground down into the feet. Inhale, lifting into the heart. When you get to the top of the head, exhale the heart here, releasing. So now I feel a little more heat in the belly. I want to see where that heat goes. I want to see if my heat, that heat can come up towards the heart or down towards the legs. When we have more heat, the more we can melt away. Stress, anxiety, maybe cross the elbows here, open up the heart, breathe. And exhale, cactus arms. So again, if this is too deep into that groin, come into a modified warrior one with the hip over that knee. If you have some openness in the hips, you can start to hinge forward as long as that knee is over the ankle. We're gonna massage the shoulder blades. Inhale as we reach up. Exhale as we take those cactus arms down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus arms. Last time, inhale. Exhale, cactus arms, frame that foot. Back toe is going to tuck, extend to that right heel. Right hand plants, left hand reaches up towards the sky. Squeezing the thighs together here, again, allowing that heat. On the exhale, we're gonna hug that left hand underneath the quad, around the spine, drop the head. Inhale, press the heel away, lift, open. Exhale, bring it in, drop the head. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it in, one more. Inhale, reaching open. We'll reach that hand down, drop the knee. The left foot comes all the way back. Extend, open up. On that exhale, we're gonna bend those elbows back. Cat bow here, keep that belly engaged. Maybe you tap the chin. Inhale, press back up. Knee to nose round. Inhale, expand, open. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, reaching up. That left foot's going to come over to the right side of the mat. Look back at that heel. You can press into the heel, just opening up that left leg. Walk the left fingertips to the corner of the mat. I call this a little banana posture, so you can open up the left ribs. Coming back to center. Unravel, come back to that table. Take some circles in the hips. We're gonna make our way to down dog. Tucking the toes, lifting the hips up, lengthening from behind the legs. Drop the head here completely. Our head is about 12, Pound, so let the weight of the head allow the spine to lengthen. When we open up each vertebra, we allow more blood flow in the spine, which relaxes that central nervous system. It relaxes the millions of nerves, nourishes the nerves that get compressed in the spine when we stand. Take a breath here. Find some stillness. Rock. Those hips back, see if you can spread them out apart here. From here, we're going to lift that right leg, three-legged dog, one more sequence. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the chest, maybe rolling forward, right foot plants. We're going to draw that left heel down, keep the right hand connected, swing that left hand overhead. This is an extended side angle. If this is too deep into the groin space, you can lift up, drawing the right forearm on top of the knee. We're gonna take some deep circles here. Left hand comes back. Inhale as you reach overhead and up. Exhale as you reach back. Inhale as you reach overhead and up. One more time. Follow your breath. 
This time as we reach back, that left hand is going to come all the way down onto the mat. Right hand reaches up. And we're coming into the uh, little variation here. You can stay lifted into this twist or draw that heel down, opening a little deeper into this right hip. Maybe you open up that right knee. Breathing here, right hand reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, coming back, right hand grounds. Right foot comes back to plank here. You have the option to drop the knees, taking that cat bow. If you'd like to take it through a chaturanga, soften the elbows, slowly lower. Bringing the hips down. Baby cobra as you inhale. Elbows stay close and lift the heart, press the toes. Exhale, roll back down. And coming all the way back to down dog. So I like to come through child's here around the spine. Lift the hips, take three breaths here. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. And hinge any tension in the jaw. We have one more side. Coming back to your intention of I am here. Just allow yourself to be here. Moving through whatever experience this practice brings you. Left leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale to bring it forward, surround the spine. Left foot plants down, puff up that chest. So we're going to ground down the left hand or the fingertips. Right heel dials down. Right hand comes overhead for that extended side angle. Again, if this is too deep into that groin space, left forearm on top of that thigh. Open up the heart here and reach that hand away. See if you can draw one long line from the right fingertips down to the right toes. Breathing here. We're going to take those circles. Exhale as you reach the hand back. You can even cave the heart in here. Inhale as you reach forward. So I'm going to take that deeper option by grounding the hands down. You can draw your fingertips on the mat. Inhale as you open up the heart. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, open. Last time, as we exhale, right hand is going to press into the mat. Left hand is going to lift. So this is the twist that we did in the very first flow. You can take this deeper by opening that left knee coming to the razor edge of the left foot and the razor edge of that right foot, both in the pinky side, opening up here. If you would like, you can always drop that knee down for this purpose. We want to keep those legs active and fired up. Reach up towards the sky. Come back to center, left hand plants. Left foot comes all the way back to plank or to that table. Take it through, Chaturanga Dandasana that melting down the heart, elbows come in. Up dog or baby cobra. So that up dog or lifting in the quad or opening the heart. Exhale, down dog. Breathe here. We'll take one more deep breath. Exhale, spread the mat apart. And we'll bring the knees down to the mat. Sitting on top of the heels, hands will slide up on the quads, rolling the shoulders back. Close the eyes here. Now that we have a little bit of heat in the body, we want to do something with that heat. We want to allow that energy to move through our body shedding what no longer serves us to create space for more of what does. Maybe we send the right hand to the heart and the left hand to the belly. As you inhale, really expand the heart open. As you exhale, everything comes in towards each other. Drop the head, relax. Inhale, open up, soft belly, big heart. Exhale, let it go. We're going to bring the hands over to one side, let the hips shift. And bring the feet out long on your mats. We're going to open up behind the hamstrings slightly. We can come into a seat, and we call this Dandasana, with the hands pressing down, heart lifting up. Maybe roll out the ankles. And we'll come to the side of my mat here. And we're going to take a bend of the knees. I like to take a pretty deep bend in the knees so the hips can roll forward. We're going to slide the hands up towards the sky. Relax the shoulders and look up towards the hands. 
receive here, what you'd like to bring in more in your life, maybe more moments of presence, more time with those you love. See if you can just allow everything to radiate into the heart. And then exhale, let it go by sending the hands down, relax the head, relax the back body. No matter where your hands land today, I'd like you to just squeeze into this space, allowing the breath to take you as deep as your body calls to go. Not forcing the body to go deep, just allowing the breath to take it there. We're going to stay here about three more breaths. If you'd like, you can stay in stillness, just working the head down towards the ground. If you'd like to take this deeper, you can take a strap or a t-shirt or bring two peace fingers around the big toes. Inhale as you lengthen the heart. Exhale as the elbows come out, draw the head in, starting to move with our breath. Inhale, drop the chin, lift the heart. Exhale as you bend the elbows, drop the head. One more time, inhale, really lengthen. Exhale as you draw the head, stay here. Two more deep breaths. And we'll inhale, walk the hands up. Right knee comes into the chest, press the foot into the mat, sit tall here. Right knee comes up to the side for a seated tree. We want external rotation in that right thigh. Flex that left foot. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Receive here. So this is where we want to bring our intention into our practice. We've done the hard work. So let that energy just flow through your body, receiving what needs to be received. That belly button is once you turn towards that left knee, keep that left foot flexed. Exhale as you reach over that left foot. Drop the chin here. Breathe. Maybe you squeeze into that foot, massaging the foot, massaging the leg. We'll take three more deep breaths here. Option to stay here. Inhale as you lift the heart. Exhale as you allow the heart to melt. Drop the chin. Inhale, lift on the back of the neck. Exhale, drop the heart down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, bring it in. We're going to inhale, walk the hands up. Right hand is going to come right by that right hip. We're going to come into that shin, lifting the heart, bringing that left hand, reaching towards the back edge of that mat. This is a deep heart opener. On the exhale, we'll bring the hips down. Left foot is going to come in towards the chest. Meeting that right knee in, hug yourself in here, stand tall, as tall as you've ever sat before, rounding through the hips, reaching through the crown of the head. And we'll send that right foot down. You can roll out the ankle here and press the toes back. Left knee is going to come out to the side, left um, heel in towards that groin. Just like we're standing in that tree pose, we want to flex that foot, rooting down those sits bones, reach the hands up towards the sky, relax the shoulder blades here. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale as you reach down. So that belly button comes towards that knee, you reach towards the toes. Drop the head here and bring your intention back into your practice. Maybe you massage the foot. Releasing the noise in the background, whether that's some commercial playing in the background or if you have kids, seeing if you can just stay in the present moment with no matter what's going on. We'll take three more breaths. Final undulations. Inhale, reaching the heart forward. Exhale, melting. 
Inhale, lifting. Exhale, melting. Last time, inhale. Exhale, melt down. We're going to walk up that sled. Left hand will plant by the left hip. Right hand comes overhead. Come to that shin. Lift the hips, reach towards that back corner. Exhale, bring the hips down. Bring that right knee in towards the chest, hugging the left in. Hug yourself in tight here. Maybe say something that you're grateful for, that you're proud of today. And we're going to meet back in that easy seat. That's where we started this practice. And I want you to find what feels comfortable for you, what is automatic, and I want you to switch that angle. We'll inhale, sit down into those sits bones, reaching the hands high, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more times, follow your breath. Inhale, scoop that energy out and up. Exhale, bring that energy and press the hands together. Drop the chin. One more time, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Bringing your intention into your practice, that place of presence. That place of stillness. That place where all life exists right here, right now. We'll reach the hands up overhead. Last time, maybe hug the elbows here, open the heart, and bring the hands by your hips. We're gonna roll those shoulders back, just like we did, open up that heart. Maybe you come to the shins here, lifting, breathing up from the front of the body, and exhale, find the seat back down. Bringing the knees in, come to your backs here. We'll close off our practice with a bit of stillness in Shavasana. If you're still feeling the chaos of the, of the world right now, you can bring the hands to the belly just for more grounding. If you're ready to kind of receive here, if you feel a little more open, bring the palms facing up. And we'll just take a few breaths here, letting the spine settle onto your mat. Letting your heart settle. Paying attention to each breath that enters your body and expands. Paying attention to each exhale as you soften and dissolve. So you can bring that warm honey, visualizing from the top of your head, releasing. Tension between your eyebrows. Nourishing your brain back behind your ears. That warm honey relaxing the throat and the mouth. Relaxing the shoulders. Your heart, your ribs your hips, all the way down your legs and your feet. I invite you to stay in Shavasana as long as you need, continuing to stay in this present moment. Again, maybe be visualizing warm honey, releasing anything that you need to release in this season. If you'd like to wrap up your practice, we'll just bring the legs back into that Sukhasana easy pose and hands will come to heart center. Take a moment to thank yourself, to thank this practice, to thank your bodies for moving through this practice, knowing that at any time, no matter where you are, any time during this season, you can always come back to a place of presence where all life exists. We'll bring the thumbs to third eye center. Inhale, looking up. This is to remind us 
to always have kind thoughts towards ourselves and towards others. We'll bring the thumbs to the lips as a reminder to always speak kind words towards ourselves and towards others. And we'll bring the thumbs to heart center as a reminder to always move with kind intentions towards ourselves and towards others. Thank you so much for flowing with me. If you'd like more, subscribe. And again, my name is Alexandra Rose and it is such an honor to share this practice with you. Thank you and namaste.